Hey everyone, welcome in day 28 of the 12 Days of Whiskey with Kevin. I'm joined here by a very special guest. Her name is Lady Rose de Burnaby. How are you doing? Super. As you can tell, fantastic. Well, it's good to have you here, Lady Rose, and she will be joining us in season three for as much as she wants to. Uh, she has a good sniffer, and yet she is a whippersnapper, so she will not be tasting any whiskey for many, many years to come, if not ever. Sorry, I will just have to taste her tastings for her. Uh, but she does have a good sniffer, and she has a good sniffer for, I think, good bourbon. Um, so also, I wanted to interest you in another whippersnapper, and it is... The Ransom, these guys at Ransom in Oregon do this fantastic whiskey that I want to share with you today. It is called the Whippersnapper Oregon Spirit Whiskey. It's admirably superior and well-mannered. Um, I'm only the well-mannered part, not admirably superior. But it is highfalutin, so um, threw in a little bit of Midwestern in there. I don't know what that was, uh, but, but it's a Whippersnapper, okay? So anyway... Um, also wanted to give you guys a little heads up of this, this place. <laughs> Great shirt. Got this, uh, Cannon Beach, Oregon, at a place called Rochelle M. It's called, oh, it's not called, you can read it. Now, this is your, uh, your lesson for today, your English lesson. It is bacon, coffee, whiskey, repeat. So if you can handle all that, those are three great words that go together. And so... You can get this from Steelhead. These guys, S-T-L-H-D. See, I haven't been drinking much, so that's good for you. Uh, Steelhead, these guys are in Salem, Oregon. They do fantastic work. Check them out. I'll leave the links to these both of the store and these guys in the notes. Check them out. But again, back to the whiskey here. It's the Ransom folks uh, in Sheridan, Oregon. They do really good. They have a whole lineup of stuff that they're doing. This one tasted to me much more like a scotch. Uh, it's a really crisp finish, um, but one thing that I might have tasted and smelled in the initial work <laughs> when I first opened this a while ago, and thank you to my very good friend, Amy, for giving me this ball. This is fantastic, and I've enjoyed it a lot. And uh, Lady Rose is moving on to other things. So here we go. I smell, it, it's that really crisp finish. It's, it smells a lot like a scotch and it is a whiskey, but uh, yeah, please come up. Ooh, and it's got a really crisp finish too. And what I think you'll like about this one, because I'm in Oregon right now and it's a little uh, wine country-ish area <laughs> within 60 miles or so, I really taste some Pinot Noir. I don't know why I'm not a, a wine guy. It's either good or bad, kind of like the whiskey. It's either good or bad for me, but uh, I really taste that in the finish. And so if that cooks your chicken, then enjoy it. But wanted to shout out to a couple of different things like you heard. This is an Oregon uh, whiskey. They're doing really good work there, the Ransom folks. And thanks again to Amy for giving me this bottle to try. Also, the keep it local people. You know, wherever you are, support your local folks. And I intend to do that uh, with this at Rochelle M. And then these guys, Steelhead. Uh, awesome folks. So thanks a lot for joining me. See you on the next day, day 29 of season three. You can just tell Rosie is so excited. Anyway, see you next time.